What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So as expected, Global got another data download this morning to add in the stuff that was missing from yesterday's data download. And uh, as always, we're gonna jump in here and check everything out. So without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it. Now, first things first, a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets. Make sure to once again, follow him if you haven't already done so. And uh, now let's scroll down to the bottom here and see exactly what's going on. Uh, basically, it's just all of the April Fool stuff. So we got some story assets for Great Saiyan Man, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we have a few Final Form Frieza assets along with a bunch of uh, other villains. As you can see, we got Sangya, we got uh, Paragus back here, we got Kakao, Ballsack Head Guy, so on and so forth. And we also have the uh, Awakened Arts for the AGL Vegeta as well as the Fizz Goku. So here's the Vegeta and his voice line is you chose the wrong opponent and then for the Goku or actually no uh, here's the Goku right there and he says I'll show you my power and in between we also have story assets for Videl and uh, the Saiyan Man as well as the Final Form Frieza as well as the Videl assets are I'm assuming for, you know, the uh, new April Fool's story event with the Dokkan of the Dead theme. And if you guys have been following on either Twitter or I think in-game as well, they've been posting these updates for like what's going on with the Dokkan of the Dead mode, right? And I think it's pretty funny. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. You know, they obviously put a lot of thought into it. They obviously put a lot of effort into this whole story that they're building, but... It just kind of makes me sad, man, when I think about it. Like, it, it kind of feels like they're playing with us. They're teasing us. Because, like, yo, how sick would it be if this Dokkan of the Dead thing was just a real mode that was coming to the game? We would love that. But instead, they, you know, it's clearly a joke unless, unless they make us think it's a joke and then actually release it later on. That would be the ultimate prank. That would be the best prank ever. I hope that's the case. It's not gonna be, but I'm just saying, like, that'd be pretty dope. But, um, yeah, man, just think about, like, what could have been, you know? Like, that would have been such a fun mode to just have as, like, a side or mini game within the game. Anyways, I'm getting on a, a tangent. Let's, like, uh, go back to the data download. Uh, so, yeah, we got Videl assets, we got the Goku assets, Vegeta assets, and, uh, we also have a new Dokkan of the Dead wallpaper, which, uh, looks pretty dope it's the uh, login screen right and we got all the zombies in the background we got the Saiyan man we got the Videl um, I really like this one man it's interesting because like this totally seems like a Halloween themed kind of thing so um, you know it would have made more sense I feel like to save something like this for a Halloween celebration but nonetheless I think it looks awesome I'll probably you know, use this wallpaper for a couple days before I replace it with my, like, team again, like I always do, but uh, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, so Dokkan of the Dead wallpaper, we have the Extreme Z Awakening medals for Goku. Um, of course, both the Goku and Vegeta are getting Awakenings and also Dokkan, or sorry, Dokkan Awakenings, and then also Extreme Z Awakenings, so these are the EZA medals, and uh, I think he accidentally put the Goku medal twice, so yeah, this should be a Bronze Vegeta medal, but... Nonetheless, we got the EZA medals for Vegeta as well. And uh, we have the new stages too for the Extreme Z area. So uh, this one, I think, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, one's for Goku and one's for Vegeta. And then we have uh, their events as well. So this is uh, new stages added to the original story event for the two characters. So uh, there you go, super simple map. And also, of course, their awakening medals too to Doken Awaken them. And then you do the Extreme Z area to Extreme Z Awaken them. And what else do we have here? Uh, mass Revival and Mass Chaos, Parade of the Dead special event. So here's level 1. And here's the Awakening Medal for the uh, Saiyan Man slash Videl. And then we also have uh, some more assets here, of course, for the Goku and the Vegeta. So what we saw before were the Story Assets, and these are actually the Card Assets. And also, a new category, Defenders of Justice. So, this is uh, the new category that I believe Videl, the Dokkan Fist Videl on JP leads. But because we're getting the, you know, April Fools, uh, Saiyan Man and Videl early, we're getting the category early as well. This doesn't mean 
that we're getting Videl soon. Although I do think she's probably going to drop right before the anniversary. So she's going to be kind of like a trap banner, if you will. Um, I know a lot of people are going to skip her, but yo, that Videl looks amazing. Okay, even though she's not as hype as like some other Dokkan feds that have come out, obviously. Um, like in terms of performance, man, she's, she's up there among like the better or best TURs in the game, you know, so I don't know. I, I, I like her. I like the unit. I'm probably going to go out for at least like one copy as I always do. But uh, yeah, there's the new category and we also have the STR Great Saiya Man and Videl and uh, that pretty much does it guys. So a quick uh, overview here, Tokon Global data download for April 1st, 2021, today April Fools of course, STR Saiya Man and Videl. Awakenings and EZAs for AGL, Butoden, is it Butoden? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but Vegeta and Fizz Butoden, uh, Goku, and then Tokon of the Dead wallpaper, as well as the uh, new, you know, April Fool story event, and uh, that's gonna do it for today's data download. Now, if you guys don't know what the EZA, Vegeta, Goku, or the STR Saiyan Man and Videl do, then make sure to keep watching, because we are gonna quickly Go over their details. Oh, in terms of when they're dropping, as you can see, the uh, PyCon and Janemba are both dropping in about 14 hours from now. Um, of course, it depends on when you're watching this video, but from the time I'm filming, about 14 hours away, along with the ATL Veku and also the uh, Awakenings and Extreme Z Awakenings for the Goku, Vegeta, and also the new Saiyan Man, and uh, for the EZA for. Uh, STR Janemba, that's coming out in just under a week from now. And JP also is getting an EZA for the AGL Tapion. So uh, yeah, now let's pop over to the details here for the Vegeta. And uh, I'm not really going to talk about his pre-EZA details because I'm assuming that everybody is going to Extreme Z Awaken them. So let's just pop over here. Okay, leader skill is going to be Vegeta's family category or extreme class. Keep plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 44%. Super attack causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense for 4 turns. And passive is defense plus 88% at the start of the turn, attack plus 88% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 88% when super or when attacking super class enemies. His links are saying uh, say warrior race, prepare for battle, royal lineage, pr uh, prodigies. Why can't I read today, man? The Saiyan lineage. Over 9,000 and shattering the limit. And categories are pure saints, Dragon Ball Seekers, Vegeta's family, terrifying conquerors, inhuman deeds, space traveling warriors, prodigious warriors, and planetary destruction. And uh, in terms of his calculations, his 88% attack boost when performing a super attack is calculated separately for a total boost of 253 0.44% when, when attacking super class enemies. When maxed out, he has 14,549 attack and 11,874 defense, 13,211 HP. So uh, yeah, he's going to be very impressive. His defense can get surprisingly high and of course his offense or his damage is uh, great as well. So yeah, just an excellent free to play Extreme Z Awakening. Can't wait to test them out. And then we have the Goku here, very similar build but with some slight differences. His leader skill is Goku's family category or super class, keep plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 44%. And then super attack causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense for 4 turns. And his passive is attack plus 88% at the start of the turn, defense plus 88% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 88% when attacking extreme class enemies. And his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Prepare for Battle, Infighter, All in the Family, The Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Low Class Warriors, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, and Turtle School. And in terms of his stats after Extreme Z Awakening, he gets up to 15,886 attack, 10,537 defense, and 13,211 HP. Um, so yeah, also a very good unit, Vegeta. I do think is a bit better um, defensively and I think also offensively. I mean, one issue with Goku is that he gets his additional attack plus 88% when attacking extreme class enemies, right? And there are just less extreme class enemies in the game compared to super class or super type enemies. So that's one problem. And another issue is that he doesn't get defense 
to start, okay, and uh, because of that, he's not really viable as a, you know, first slot unit, right? Like, he's going to be pretty squishy before he super attacks and gets that additional defense buff. So, uh, yeah, Goku, you know, not as good as Vegeta, but still very good nonetheless. And, yeah, now let's move on to the April Fools. Great Saiyan Man and Videl, the uh, new free-to-play unit for this year. The leader skill is Defender of Justice Category Key Plus 2. HP, Attack, and Defense plus 50%. Super Attack, Strike Shot, raises Attack and Defense for one turn, causes Supreme Damage, and lowers Extreme Class Enemies, Attack and Defense. And Passive is Attack and Defense plus 58%, plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 58% when performing a Super Attack, plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 41%, when attacking extreme class enemies, and then chance of performing a critical hit plus 4% per Defenders of Justice category ally on the team. Defender of Justice category allies key plus 3, attack, defense, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 18%. Links are Infighter, Courage, Patrol, uh, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Joint Forces, Movie Heroes, and Defenders of Justice. So there you go guys, that is... Uh, the new free to play Saiyan Man and Videl. Their additional attack and defense plus 58% when performing a super attack is calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 242.86%. Unfortunately, they are a free to play unit, so their stats are not the highest, so that boost, you know, is not as significant as like if it were for a Dokkan Fest unit or something like that, but still, you know, a great free to play unit right here if you, uh, you know, need a sub for, I don't know, movie heroes or joint forces or something like that. So, uh, that is going to do it, guys, for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think in terms of the Goku, Vegeta, and the Saiyan Man and Videl. Uh, do you think that they should make Dokkan of the Dead a real thing? Okay, I know it's a joke. I know it's not coming for real, but it'd be so sick if it was, man. I'd be so happy if it was real, so, yo, Bandai, if you're watching, just make it a real thing. You know, like, it's, it's a good joke, good job, uh, but it'd be a better joke if it actually became a playable mode in the game. I'm just saying. Anyways, thank you so much to Proton10MG on Twitter for posting the assets as he always does. And, uh, you know, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.